Hello, I'm Luke from Smallfish and I'm going to show you how to do body groups. So I'm going to show you how to create them and set them up in model doc and then how to quickly test them in game and like use them in your code. So first things first, every piece of your body group that you want to like turn on and off or like switch, it has to be a separate render mesh. So for example, if I wanted to turn the hands off, I can't do it right now. I need to separate the hands into its own one of these. So Fortunately, I've got individual meshes within this model file and I can toggle them on and off so I can quickly just duplicate this four times and then I'll set the torso to be a torso. I'll set this to be hands and I'll turn all the others off. I'll set this to be legs. And then I'll set this to be the feet. And I'll keep the head as whole, one whole thing, even though it's got like separate bits for the eyes and all that. Uh, we'll quickly compile that. So now we can use these separately in our body group. So let's quickly just add a body group and let's do one for the head. Obviously, you've got per body group, like each body group can have multiple choices, but you can also have multiple body groups. So for example, we can have a body group for the head and we do head as one choice and nothing as the other. And if we compile that, now you can see body groups, we've got head and we can turn it on and off. And let's say we add another choice and we call it uh, hands. We can add a body group choice that let's say turns the torso and the hands on and we can add a choice that for some reason turns the feet on feet <laughs> um, and then we can add a choice that does nothing and that also works although what you cannot do you have to keep your uh, mind out while doing this is a body group uh, cannot use the same render mesh that another body group is using and you cannot have multiple choices using the same mesh within a body group as well. So basically the best way to think about it, within any of your choices, no matter what body group it is, you can only keep one choice per, one, one render mesh per choice basically, no matter what body group. Otherwise you'll get like weird issues like, uh, like this, I'll show you. Head, compile, and now it'll, it'll come up with a warning, it'll say head is in multiple body groups and it won't like it so I'll have to disable it. But now I'll try and do hands and oh we've got another warning, it's in multiple body groups, it just doesn't like it so you can't really do it unfortunately. Um, and one thing to see as well, if you don't, if you have a render mesh isn't in any body groups at all, it'll always be visible, you can't turn, turn it on and off. Um, if you don't like that annoying little warning you can literally just say I like to do it as base and I'll drag that to the top and that you only can you can just set it as a single body group let's see I need legs and technically you can't turn that body group off but it's just there and it stops that warning if you're annoyed by it, it isn't important though uh, but now I've shown you how to set them up and how you can quickly test them in model doc I'm going to switch to using normal citizen and show you an example in game. Okay, so here's my quick example. All it is just allowing me to look around and then when I click it just messes with the body groups. So let's look at the code quickly. Okay, so to keep in mind, whatever you're trying to set the body group on, make sure it derives from a model entity because that gives us our method to actually set the body group. So the set body group method has two different ways of setting it. The way I'm doing it here, here is setting it based on the int of the group and the int of the value. So the int of the group will be whatever number in this order it is in the actual body groups in the model. So head will be zero, chest one, legs two, so on, zero, one, two, three, four. And then the value is whichever number this is like. So zero will be on, two will be off. Obviously, if you've got more than two choices, it'll be like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. But in the citizen, it's only got on and off for every body group. So what I'll do is when I click, it'll randomly give me a body group. 
and it will randomly either turn it on or off. So it doesn't matter if it's already on, it might just try and turn it on again, which, whatever. Um, and it will also tell me in the console what it's done. So let's have a quick look. Got a console open, so let's click. So careful, you need to be careful of this. It's trying to do it separately in the server and client, so keep uh, your mind out for that to be careful and make sure it's the same on both. So if I click, you see it's flickering there, I didn't like it there. Uh, so there it is, it's set, it's set two of them at once. Yep, it's a bit janky, but you can see that's basically how I work. You get the body group you want uh, and then you set it to be either on or off. Basically, or set whatever value you want it to be. And it's literally just a single method. I don't think there's any way of getting a body group. Nope, there's only a way of copying it from another entity, unfortunately, but... Yep, that's how you get your body groups and set them. It's pretty easy, pretty simple.